hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Miss Demeanor. How's everybody doing today? Welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad to be back with my pirate crew. It's been too long. It feels like it's been months. It feels like it's been years, my friends. It's been two weeks. Two weeks too long, if you ask me. It's been way too long, my friends. Ah, oh, breaks my heart, honestly. Really, it just breaks my heart. Can we be part of the crew? I don't know. Maybe. It's been years. Ah. Oh. Well, it's gonna feel like years when we go back because they were in the middle of a boss fight, and I have to. Uh, <laughs> I have to. We have to. We have to realign everything, which hopefully won't take too long. Um, but before we start, guys, I've got some great news for you all. We have new BTTV emotes. So if you have the BTTV extension, we have gained four new emotes. And that is of our lovely pirate crew. So we've got um, Io Alis. We've got Io Armstrong. We've got Io Layton. And we've got Io Luna for a variety of that. And uh, we are slowly going through other characters of other campaigns as well and adding those to BTTV. You do not need to subscribe to use these emotes, just need the BTTV extension. Oh, and you can use them to your heart's content while in this stream. Uh, also, as a nice little added bonus for you guys, I'd like to go ahead and make an announcement that soon we will be selling stickers. That's right. These emotes have been also made into beautiful, beautiful stickers. Uh, I'm getting a batch sent to me right now to make sure that the quality is good. And if they are good, uh, we will begin selling them here on the channel. So I believe they're gonna be $4 a sticker. Uh, and the first four stickers will be of our pirate crew. So wood gnome stickers. Oh my God, I need to go. We need to get a wood gnome sticker. All right, chat. It's gonna be the pirate crew, and uh, there will be a wood gnome sticker later on. You've con you've convinced me, chat. I wasn't gonna have a wood gnome. I didn't even think about a wood gnome sticker, but you've uh, you've convinced me. You've twisted my arm by simply stating wood gnome, and I went, yeah, that'll that. Yep, I would I would have a wood gnome sticker. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So we're gonna go uh, head in here in a second. Uh, I'm going to let the crew know. I don't want to keep them waiting too long. And we'll do a big, long recap with you guys as well as our crew. Because it has been a it has been a, 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 a couple of a couple of weeks, you know? It's been an absolute couple of weeks. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that they are they're good. Make sure they're canine friendly. Chat, you are just you, you're 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 a lot. You're a lot right now. But but uh, but 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 in a good way, in a good way. Also, before we begin, uh, man, we are at 95 out of 100 Patreon members. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Patreon. We're trying to get to 100 by the end of the year, and I, I think it's inevitable at this point, guys. So thank you so much for that support and being part of the first 100 Patreon members. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I'm unmuting. Here we go. Hello. It, sh it should. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. I kick hello. door down. I kick door down. Everyone stop, 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 stop. Stop. Hi guys, how are you? How's how are you guys doing? <laughs> good. How are you? Okay, I'm good. Okay. I just I I, I didn't want to you know just want to make sure you knew that I was here. I'm like the annoying friend that's like, and now I'm here too. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are we sitting I'm here? Yeah, where Everyone are we sitting? Stop. Yeah. How you guys? Uh, how you guys doing? I'm very uh very excited to be here with you guys today. We were just discussing strategy. Yeah, uh, you just, yeah. Uh, I don't remember we're trying to, to recall what was going on in this fight hole. Uh, that is true. We should probably go and look at that together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Oh, uh, yeah. I saw what? my HQ was it down at like 14. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Say that. I'm also hurt. Why are you rolling? Oh, that's it? right. We wrote fart, fart, fart. Oh, fart, fart, fart. Oh, fart, How did I forget? I didn't forget. I remembered immediately. I was like, I'm going to come into the screen and see farts and a little bit of notes Ooh, and stinky. <laughs> farts and farts. 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 Farts and farts. <laughs> Absolutely, I've, uh, I've, I, I've, I've missed you guys. So I'm really happy we're doing this again, my friends. Yeah. Um, say it back, please. Look, I don't like to to lie. All right. Well, okay. I guess we're gonna continue now. Uh, with feelings into a boss fight. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, it's gonna be really shabby, I guess. PK, but uh... oh, yeah. Well, there goes our. Hey, I want to be clear. Yes. I rolled initiative to, to make sure that my board was working because I keep getting errors that on D and D Beyond in roll twenty that uh, my stuff's not connected, but it is. So it I is. just wanted to make sure it, you guys saw it. Yeah, I saw it. It it, it looks good. I want to oh. roll initiative too. Yeah, feel free. <laughs> just, everyone just, just roll fun. initiative. Just to, you know, you know, it's just a, a lovely zone, recap. Right? Go ahead and roll initiative. Well, I, just like, yeah. Maybe well, roll some like initiative. Yeah, <laughs> good. Love that. You guys shit. are literally changing your initiative order now. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess. The, that extra inch made Alice just that little bit faster. Oh you know? my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that Alice grew. Yeah. Don't look at my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's actually completely, totally okay and fine that you... Uh, roll initiative doesn't matter because for this fight, they always have one. So roll... You know what? You guys want to roll initiative? You Feel free to re-roll. Feel free to re-roll. Uh, Yo, Anor, Anor three out of uh, four of us have already done it. Oh, uh, so yeah. So normally, normally I don't thank gift subs uh, during the game, but you, geez, it, yo, Arnar, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. That's a, that's Hell a, yeah. that's a Arnar. generous amount. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Holy crap. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to, uh, no, to it's, that. it's, it's that. Arnar, no. Arnar's the homie. No, Arnar's the homie. You're good. Um, also, Arnar just got back from being on a ship for like, Oh no! Months. Month? Arnor's a real no. pirate. Whoa. He's an actual pirate. <laughs> Arnor's more I mean, of a pirate than any of us. He's a, he's a marine biologist, which is basically like a modern day pirate. So oh. I, I feel you like know. that's a smart pirate, right? That's a smart. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call the smart pirate in the bits. smart pirate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> SMRT pirate. Smart pirate. Biologist for like three years in elementary school. <laughs> I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> uh, well, Arnor, thank you so much. That was very generous of you. If you, anyone got gifted stuff from Arnor please be sure to thank them in the chat it is a generous thank you yeah thank you <clears throat> thank you so much um anyways yeah continue to feel free to uh roll initiative everyone i mean you just you can roll as much as you want because their initiative is always one anyway so as long as you don't roll below one you're good to go i feel oh, that's like right and i that's odd oh, it's all coming back to me uh, yeah that you were like in this fight you can literally just do things in whatever yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's why i really matter. that's why it's all right you could just yeah that's why i was okay with it it was more joke than anything oh, um yeah let me do a, a a bit of a brief recap of what what's been going on here just in case for those that may have forgotten needs a bit of refresher it has been a couple of weeks uh, you guys have uh, broken into and enter what is essentially this advanced technology ziggurat of sorts. Um, and hold on one sec. I'm getting my notes. Getting my notes. Getting my notes. The Tower of uh, Xenocrates is what you ended up finding out the name was. Uh, you fought a simulacrum illusion of some sort. And you believe you... 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 Does anyone recall what you guys did with the computer? I don't want to like give too much away if I haven't, if I if I said or haven't said something when you were at the we, computer. Uh, what did we do? We, it's it's with baking the computer in... that's in front of us right now. Oh no, we, like, the took the... off some arms and some 
clothes. Oh, not, not for the fight. I apologize for the. Uh... No, we we actually <laughs> were we told the computer that we want to make a new evil void, and so it's like baking down below somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoops. Accidente. Oh. Yeah. I was okay. like, hey, what's the status of Div and Void? And it was like, oh, I can't find him. I guess I'll build a new one. And we were like, <laughs> no! That's it. That's it. <laughs> that, that was that's it. it. Now we're, we're racing down below to, to stop it before it. Uh, right. Um, you did also find got... out just uh, that you do have a year's time. Um, so yes, we don't have to do this right right now. now correct. We yes. just need to live oh, long oh, enough oh, to be able to do something we're... about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of advanced technology. You're in a facility that's like, oh, we can't find the div and void seed. All right, initiating backup, div and void seed, growing, new div and void. You're like, wait, 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 wait what? Excuse me? Um, and also, yeah, you're in a facility that is, well, it's connected to a bunch of facilities as well. I do want to point out because it mentioned the last div and void spot was uh, in the renamed Tower of Atlas. Um, and that it can't find Atlas anymore. So now it's just going to rebuild a new one here in Z at the bottom of the Xenocrates. Uh, so you're now going through. You're in the middle of a fight with uh, the, I believe they're called the the Gemini Gygus. The stinky fart poopy butts? Yeah, stinky <laughs> fart, fart poopy butts. That is that is absolutely yeah, their campaign. I got hoping somebody would remember the name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luna got a Luna got a cape that turns her into a bat. That is I true. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, I forgot about that. And I got a, and I got a, <laughs> and I got a laser shotgun. Yeah, oh, you, got a, you got like a laser pistol. You haven't hit yet with it, uh, but you do have a laser pistol, which is very exciting. Um, and when you do hit with something, it's going to be pretty awesome. But until then, we're we're gonna wait and see. Yeah. Well, no, it's not that it's not. It's it's you're not proficient in this uh, this this yeah. weird strange radiant cannon that essentially it is so um <clears throat> so you'll probably be missing a little bit with it um but yes you are fighting off against the gemini gyguses uh you've learned a couple of things uh first of all they fart and they're stinky uh, according to these two uh with a little bit of yeah um, <laughs> going, up, going off the notes that you wrote fortunately i have also written my own notes uh the left one has no armor minus one arm and cannon frown face uh which just so you know what that means because i thought it was something different Cannon frown face actually means it still has the cannon, yeah. not that it doesn't have a cannon. It's a frown face for the players. Because I went, oh, the cannon's also gone in this, and then I rewatched the episode and went, oh no, it. They're saying the cannon's still there, and they're very uh, sad I mean, about I it. I mean, I thought it was pretty clear. <laughs> Maybe this is a note to ourselves that we need to do something about. The right. Uh, meanwhile, the right guy guess is only stinky and that's the only notes that you guys wrote for that one so i had to go back and figure out what but was going i on with remember that. you being very impressed that um both of us made fart jokes at the same time without being able to see one another's sides i love the fact so a that... shout out to that <laughs> I uh, I I love the fact that I was like, can we recall what happened? Well, we accidentally are reviving two gods, and you were really impressed that we both made fart jokes at the same time. And I was like, all right, yep, that is a true that is a true recap. Um, yeah. The right Gigas still has armor, is missing an arm, and is also missing their cannon. So, um. Just to recap the mechanics that you guys learned from last session, you've got a computer uh, that you can use once in the full round, uh, both on each side, uh, that essentially commands and controls things that happen on the other side. You guys can't see what's happening between the two of you. Uh, viewers at home, you guys can see the two sides, um, but the players have their own isolated vision. So if all the players that are on the left side cannot see what's happening on the right, and all the players on the right cannot see what happens on the left because their vision is blocked by walls. So they're actually on their own, and they are not watching the stream and cheating currently because they are good players 
Isn't that right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I do have chat open though because I'm so excited about these BTTV. That, that's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are yeah. they in there now? Yes, they are yeah. in there. As you can Io. put your you can put your adorable Luna face in chat. Oh my gosh. Why are my emotes working? It says unable to load emotes. I'm going to reload chat. Oh, oh, so those are Twitch emotes and they're bonked. And I also forgot to mention to chat. Uh, Twitch emotes are bonked right now. It's not just you. We're oh. all dealing with it right now, unfortunately. Um, you'll have to, um, Laura, you'll have to install the BTTV add-on for your browser to be able to see them, just so you know. Because oh. I know you, you were asking about BTTV last night, so you might not see that but you will Ooh. see well you can't see because you can't watch the stream because then you can't each it's a very tough time it's a very tough time <laughs> right now so i apologize um, wholeheartedly can i uh, yes can i because my notes from last time are a little haphazard i'm sure at the time i thought that they made were amazing sense, yeah no i understand that yeah just to double check so mm -hmm. the the robot said that we are currently at the tower of xenocrates yep um but that uh, it was renamed to the Tower of Atulis or the Tower of Atulis oh, is somewhere else? So, so the notes is you are currently in the Tower of Xenocrates. It right. mentioned the last location of Divin Void, of the Divin Void Seeds. Right. We're was at in the, the Tower of Atulis, which has been renamed by user Bathlazar to right. Atlas. Um, yes, that's what I had written down. Cool. And that they are now currently absent. So now they're just going to pluck in two new, a new Div and Void seat here at the bottom of the Xenocrates, uh, right. Tower of Xenocrates, and big scream. Everyone went like, no, and then it said an estimate of, an, of I think, a year. Um, yes. I think it was like a year, three weeks. I'll have to write down the actual date. Um, but yeah, essentially, it's you have a year. Um, and that is, that is most likely... Um, <clears throat> Because the the time the timelines right, um, in the end try and associate themselves with our IRL timeline, so that you know as you guys are traveling and things like that, and whenever we take breaks, it, it catches up with our timeline. So right. so a year uh, in IO is most likely going to be like, if you don't stop this next next year, twenty twenty one. Yeah, that may happen, and we let's will... stop them okay. now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> or you could stop them now um, with the War Master above, rising the the city of Krakesk currently. Yeah, but he could. Wait. I don't think that we're strong enough to take care of it now, and we got like pressing other time sensitive <laughs> shit happening. Yeah, we got like right next do. door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After we kill um poopy fart fart butthole stinky mm -hmm, robots mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and get whatever is behind them. Mm -hmm. Uh I do I do I do feel like we should address the magic whirlpool outside that is going to consume all life. Oh, yeah. I get it. This is whirlpool. this is Oh, that. Deep, deep <laughs> there are so is... many nested story things. This is... I just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the there's main, a, the main a lot story, happening. Luna. Yeah. <laughs> the main story of our campaign, Luna. <laughs> And remember also, how we got shipwrecked? That that happened. <laughs> that I do happened. remember that. Oh well, yeah, our ship I, I, doesn't work. At, no. I think like four <laughs> sessions work. ago as well is what that happened. Um, <laughs> by the way, before before we actually jump into this, there was <laughs> there was a YouTube comment that made me chuckle, and I want to read it to you guys because I think you'll all appreciate it. Great. Um, it was the last session that this comment was made. Um, the comment reads, Session 1, Yar me hardies, haul up the yard arm, me bucko, and Session 11, bleep blorp, I'm a computer, stop all the downloading, but like in a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's not forget that, uh, the computer thinks that I am the true admin, and that everyone has nicknames now. Yes. Oh my god, I forgot. Everyone did make names. Menu. Everyone did make names. I wrote it on a notepad what everyone's names were, and then my computer Aww. reset. Um, it so was I... great. Uh, so was we get boy? to come up no, with our was, own was, reality it was, now. It was the boy, 
No, for for a list. No, it was. Uh, wasn't Luna just Luna? Wasn't Luna the only yeah, one that Luna, didn't get Luna's shafted the only in this? One that, that, Luna's the only one I didn't give a nickname to. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what did I call Hunter? Uh, uh, first second mate. mate. I think it was oh, like first mate. Oh, first mate. That's first right. Mate. I called him first. First mate Armstrong. Yeah. First mate Armstrong. <laughs> I tried to I tried to argue with the computer and it wouldn't <laughs> I wasn't having it. And it was like you could change the name downstairs. You're like, we gotta go downstairs. I know that it happened, but I like to imagine that's what happened. The boy. Oh, and, the, and the computer the computer also recognizes Scrum as an administrator as well. That is true. You registered Scrum. Yeah, right. Scrum. You did register Scrum. Oh my god, I forgot about Scrum. Yep, Scrum is a <laughs> ongoing character. Wow. Um also uh a couple of things of note that I would like to add that i want to ask you guys real quick uh two new optional rules that i'm working on uh one is an optional rule for animal companions where animal companions actually do not get hurt um yeah. so we so we don't have Ooh, to worry about agreed. yeah so we don't have to actually worry about animals getting hurt um the idea is whenever someone attacks the animal uh you take the damage instead <laughs> so. it's like in darkest dungeon is that what that is in, in darkest dungeon so that's it, well in Dar the hounds master in darkest dungeon if you attack the dog then the hounds master takes it mm -hmm. and and hugs the dog that's cool. oh my god <laughs> that's so that's I mean, essentially I would do that it's a, uh, it, it's a, so you could make an animal bond with someone that you've trained as a pet. And so that if anyone like tries to attack the pet, um, they don't get hurt. Instead, you take the damage of it. Um, the pet also shares your same armor class. It same, saves your, shares your same vulnerabilities and invulnerabilities and resistances. Um, and also with AOE attacks, only you or the pet get hit but the pet essentially what it is is the pet never takes damage you never have to see an injured pet and when you go down the pet just goes to your side to try and you know take care of you essentially but, but yes yeah. please i think that's very cute and so, i will stress a lot look a list doesn't like scrum but dodger would be very sad if something happened to scrum <laughs> <laughs> um and also, as a side, a new thing is eventually we're going to have um, familiar slash minion rules. So instead of us having like, it, let's say you have you recruit five pirates, right? Um, instead of there being five pirates in the initiative order and then I roll attacks and yada, yada, yada. Um, we may be doing something called familiar actions or minion actions where they add a bonus to you as they fight with you, essentially. Ooh. So it's kind of like a little a little side buff. Or you can take what is called a minion action for them to do things on your turn. Um, so... That's, but that's a work in progress. But that's essentially the bottom line is look at minions and familiars as like magic items that do bonus things with a bonus action um and also imagine having a familiar must be nice <laughs> <laughs> and uh well uh, I, I won't get into it i won't get into it there's there's a lot of things that have happened especially with the arcane academy last session so um but yeah, it's all good i just really needed to <laughs> You really I need want to say, to say that out loud. I, I to, understand yeah. that. I understand that completely. Um, so, uh, yeah, essentially your minion, it goes on your turn. And they do bonus things. So for, let's say, I'm do, saying this as an example, you have a random goblin minion. That's just a, a goblin. He does whatever. You attack, and for your minion action, uh, the goblin attacks with you, and it just gives you, like, a flat damage bonus of, like, plus one or something like that. So it's, like, little uh, little buffs that you can choose to use and, and things like that instead of... Uh instead of having like 10 initiative ordered characters um it focuses on the main characters over that so um that could be the same thing with animal companions but anyways yeah i just wanted to toss that out real quick um of things that are being worked on i don't know why i wanted to bring it up just wanted to bring it up um i like it i like it i also i just like talking to you guys because i haven't talked to you guys forever and it's been a while all it's, right yeah yeah like a year. I missed you brett <laughs> i missed you <laughs> um okay are we ready? Uh, any other? Oh yeah! And also, do not forget the mechanic that the room that you found out uh, last time is that the room, if these Giguses stay in their room for too long, uh, it, the room will begin to repair them. So. Uh, oh right, but we switched them because you um, did switch them, and that now, numbers. yeah, and now 
uh well we haven't resolved what happens now um but uh but yes yeah. Yes, that is correct. So that what, is something. So did we switch them I, or did we switch ourselves? We, both. I think that you yeah. switched both, you switched you both, both them and themselves. You swapped a quadrant, remember? Yeah. So yeah. it was oh, robot, right. robot and Armstrong swapped with right. robot and yep. Luna. Well, I'm still dancing with the same guy. Also, the rooms yeah. need to be kept balanced. So two humanoids, one robot uh, is currently We're the balance. We're in my room now. Hello. Um. <laughs> Yes. A question, <laughs> please. So the the computers control the other robots in the corresponding rooms. Now that they've switched, does that mean the computer controls the robot in the current room? So the computer always controls the robot in the opposite room. I see. Yes. So now, so so me and Luna are controlling the the other robots still. Correct. Yes, but, I, but it's yeah. the robot that you had been fighting before. Correct. 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 You're, you're going to have to keep the line of communication notes. open. Also, <laughs> keep, no, it's all good. Also, keep keep in mind uh, the commands, which you found out about, which are essentially wow. AOE attacks that happen at the beginning mm. of their turn. No. Um, so you have to make sure you issue those commands. Can um, you say what stinky status is again? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Stinky status. <laughs> it has armor. It's missing an arm, and it's missing its cannon. Okay. All right. Um, for sake of simplicity, and because I don't remember their commands, but I'm almost certain you were controlling them just fine. Uh, they will not do their AOE commands this round because I'm almost certain you guys prepared them to not hit you guys anyways. I don't yeah. remember what the commands <laughs> are, and I don't want to punish anybody for that. So we're going to just say we're, there, we're just going to uh, shoot. We determined the X uh command was super easy to dodge because it's only like one yeah. by one uh squares versus the cross which is like thick yeah that is correct mm -hmm. the, the cross is thick the x is small and uh and yeah i'm dying here i'm trying to like there we go i'm trying to like clear out the painting so we can begin and i can't i can't <laughs> select things this is my nightmare uh so <laughs> There we go. There we go. Um, uh, players, don't 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 mind me. I, I I'll I'll handle it. You guys can just sit right there, and I'll I'll handle the uh, like a parent. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. please. I'll I'll clean up. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Um. All right. So are we? I think we're we're gonna continue with Layton's initiative. At that point, does that sound good? Does anyone have any other questions? It's been a couple of weeks, so it is okay to ask them. I have a question. Yes. What did I do a check for that was 25 in sailing? Uh, hit points, <laughs> I think that I believe. was HP. Yeah. yeah, because the one that got transferred into your room still didn't have HP visible. I see. And then I have a dexterity of 13. What was that for? Great question. Sorry for squeaky chair. Oh, I can't hear it, so you're good. Oh, um, yeah, I can't hear it. And I'm over here, like, hacking every few seconds. So, like, <laughs> I can't, I can't just, hear that either, yeah. So we're, we're, it's because I keep muting myself. Can, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, just the, all the things that you're worried about, I can't hear. That's all I'm oh, saying. Oh, I shot, I, I shot the, I shot the gun. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, you shot the cannon and you missed. Yeah, which is fine. And that's the end of my turn then. Uh oh, right? are we sure? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. So, so it's Luna's turn to go next. I think. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. All right. Also, where's that? Where's that tight music at? Well, I'm I'm about to. We're gonna start, but I want to make sure Red. we're all good. Uh, all right, where's the music? music? All right, the music's starting. The battle <laughs> begins. Luna, it's your turn. Oh gosh. Um. <clears throat> go, uh, Luna, go. We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, not online. Um. Okay, so, uh, if Wayne's in front of the computer, does that mean that he's gonna do the operation? things the uh operation things are already done this round we're going to say for Ooh, this full okay. round so if you just do your actions as normal okay so the actions that i do mm -hmm. um 
<laughs> we just realized Laura has forgotten to play how to figure how to play D and D after two weeks, which is so possible. Do I have to do any checks or anything? Like, <laughs> a anyone need checks? <laughs> anyone need checks? <laughs> I, think at, I think at this point, what we need is to do some to do some damage. I appreciate you checking on all of us. Yeah, <laughs> very sweet. It's such a nurturing personality. <laughs> it's bra bravo, bravo, Didn't you guys miss it's us? wonderful. <laughs> I, I miss this. I miss the hell out I of this. I vote deal buttloads of damage to it. I think that that's my vote. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I like that. Else. Buttloads is good. Okay. Um, how about... Um, so I can move and then move back again? Is that true? Like mm -hmm. if I'm within my range? So, yep. okay. So how about I move here and then do a thunder wave? And then, and then move back. Move wherever's a safe range. That's a, that's a smart move. I like it. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I guess I will cast Thunder Wave. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I was like, have some confidence. These are these are good. Uh, these are good <laughs> moves. <laughs> this is good. Uh, <laughs> let me actually load up the character sheet of the. Also, you guys have full health, by the way. On on this on the stream, it says you guys are both that Armstrong and Luna are in the dying state. I am, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are that you is, actually? That is correct. That's true. I have, I have twelve. Yeah, that robot just kept smacking me. I do oh, have no. fourteen. I think I got. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was. Wild boy. I 100% <laughs> hit you. Yeah, that was entirely me. Oh, right. I was well, like, all right, that bitch is going down. And then fucking magic missile Luna to death. That's what happened last time. I remember it vividly. <laughs> all right, so uh, the, the Gigas made the save. So instead of 13 damage, it'll only take six points of damage. Rude. Very rude. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where do I need to move to be safe for the AOE thing? Um, at, for this turn, you can move wherever you like because we don't remember. I don't remember where the a, what the AOEs were. Um, oh. Okay. So they're. Not know, just... I would say get away from him because he's gonna come for you, and you're already on low HP. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four. I don't remember how much I can move. Okay, so I moved six squares. So I... You moved up two. Um, and you have four squares remaining. Okay, so four squares remaining. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess I'll go hang out with um, Leighton then. I'll go over here. Oh, dude, that's that's a lot of squares that you're moving now. Oh, oh, did it? Oh, oh, four squares from the place I was at. Oh, yes, okay, yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you're, you're trying to get back. So I think was I here or here? I was so that was, so once you got in range, that was two squares. So you have four squares remaining. Okay, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Or okay. if you or if you want, one, mm. two, three, four. Since you want to get closer, you could do one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I'll do yeah. that. Yeah, you can do mm. that. Not to take control of your character. Do whatever you want. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Like the little boy magic is weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, all right, so this one only has one arm, no armor. Oh, Hunter, you gotta get out of there, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> I gotta close the Twitch chat now. I can't. He's about to give me a hug. You gotta close Twitch chat. What happened? Because I shouldn't know what's going on with Hunter. I mean, you're oh, pff, you're gonna know. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear the speaker. Oh God. Um, well. One attack. Well. Come on. Okay. Uh, That's a twenty. Well, I'm uncanny dodging it, so. Okay. So you're gonna take half damage of this. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> you take seven points of damage. As this giant fist lifts up and then slams down on you. Oh, that smarts! Uh. 
all that AC. Oh, I should have done shatter. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <Next time. laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, robot, where are you moving, huh? Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I was kidding. <laughs> Also, we forget, we found out last, uh, last, uh, uh session, uh, Luna has an insanely high armor class. I think like 17 or something yeah. like that because oh, of the dra yeah. her dragon heritage. I forgot. We have two tanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that misses. That completely misses. All right. Aelis, it's your turn. Aelis, one inch me. higher now. Yes. <laughs> Un uncomfortable, achy. My trousers no longer fit. <laughs> um, but there's more important shit going on. Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, all right. Let's, um... Let's magic missile this boy. Uh... Oh, God, what? I'm so nervous. What's that? <laughs> how much magic health? missile? How much health do you have left, Hunter? Um, uh, five. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Um, is there something else I could do? <laughs> you know, Ail is hesitant of his own power. Can I, um, uh, I don't remember if I did this before. I would uh -huh. like to, to, um, maybe do an arcana check to see if lightning damage, if it's weak to lightning damage. Okay, that's fair. That's a good question. Do that arcana uh, check. 15? Uh, it is not neither weak nor vulnerable to, or it's neither weak nor resistant to lightning. Okay, so it's just it'll just be normal. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I uh. Okay. Uh... It also begins healing itself. What? Can't we switch the rooms? Uh, it has natural regeneration. Is he made oh, of my. metal? We don't know what they're made of. Oh, they appear to be of a metallic substance. Hunter, do you trust me? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna okay. Actually, I'm going to um, use Frostbite on it because then if it tries to attack you again, it'll have disadvantage. Oh, hell yeah. That's um, a And then I, uh, and then I right. won't have to do a unstable boy roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> let's do that instead. Con save 15. It fails. Great. Ah! Disadvantage on his next attack. Yeah, five Amazing. cold damage and disadvantage. Disadvantage. I have 17 AC. This should be okay. <laughs> should. Also, uh, a list and uh, arms and everyone. It's a new round, so you can uh, initiate commands on the computer, mm -hmm. including the uh, the 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 cross X and burst command. What you want of the other. What do you do, a list? Uh, I mean, I yeah, I can I can do commands for you guys. What do you need on your side? Oh, um, uh, as a recap, it has an arm. It has so, it's, it's missing arm, missing arm. cannon, but it has armor. Oh, he has armor. Okay. So, is our goal just to get rid of all the things? Like, do we want to take his armor off? Yes. I mean, yeah, getting rid of as much as possible will make it easier to deal with, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whatever whatever that... quadrant it's in, and then disrepair, and then um, cross X or burst, depending on what isn't going to hit you. Mm -hmm. Burst is AOE, cross is a plus sign, and X is the diagonals. Yes. Yeah. X is a pretty easy one to dodge. If you guys want that by just by default 
Okay, are we, we're, we're standing? We're not in the cross, right? Or the X, I mean? Right now, you are in the X. Oh, he moved. Yes. He's right next to you. Oh, disgusting. Well, you're not, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. He, was, he wasn't there before, so he's right there. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I guess whatever doesn't hit us. Okay, because he's not gonna move again before he does whatever. Oh, he, like, and you're not, you're not with. Are you within his, his range of attack? Getting hit if you move. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. You are. Okay. So. So then oh, Luna well, moving is not a good thing. Yeah, she's gonna get bopped. Uh, so then we want to put in cross probably. So <laughs> we'd both avoid cross. Is that the deal? Yeah, we have to do Just cross. Plus sign. Well, okay. also, also keep in mind the attacks of op only happens when you leave their their attack range. If you right. are walking around them, it, it doesn't provoke an attack of op. It's only when you uh, leave their range of attack that's when the attack of op happens. Oh. So you can okay. still like still walk shimmy. around them and things like that. Yeah, you can still shimmy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I guess then taking off their armor. And the uh, take cross. Off, take, take off the armor and cross, I think, is the way we okay. want to go. Okay, which quadrant is it in? Which color? Oh, man. Ooh, uh, technically speaking, he's in purple and green. Okay, so it should work either way. I think we tested this before. Mm -hmm. So I'll say target green and then disrepair to remove armor and then cross, correct? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Green. Green. This mm -hmm. <laughs> Quas. Oh yes, I also remember uh, a lot of confusion the last session with I think the arm kept getting removed. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Metal arm comes down from yeah. the ceiling. <laughs> yes. Uh, so and another yet another no. arm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so another arm comes down from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, begins to dismantle and remove the armor plates of uh, of the Gigas. Uh, with the Gigas completely dismantled, its regeneration shuts off. Hey! Yeah. Let's see it. Oh. How interesting. Uh, yeah. Um, that'll be the end of my turn then. All right, Armstrong. Okay, uh, so I don't need to mess with the terminal now. We're good there. Uh, yes, you can, it also right. terminals once per round anyway, so right. once per full cool, round. Cool, cool. So I can, okay, so one thing I keep forgetting that I have is fancy footwork. So if I attack, I cannot be opportunity attacked. Oh, so, snap, that is cool. I can just, oh, yeah. I can just hit and run, baby. Let's Ooh, do it, baby. Nice. Yes, baby. I love it. Or can I put it in, put it in the, yeah, there it is. Um, so I just have to hope that if I hit and run, it does not run after me. But you better run. Did we? Uh... <laughs> Did we determine if it is resistant to non-magic attacks? Uh... It is from my notes, it was uh, resistant to non-magical piercing and bludgeoning. Is that right, Brett? Oh, that is that is correct. Okay, so I need to go in with both my magic weapons. Me. All right. Then first will be the rapier plus two. That's, crit. That's a crit. Would you like to sneak yes! attack on this? Uh, yeah, I think I'll just slap some sneak attack on there. All just right. Just slather it on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That is oh. a lot of damage. Oh, oh, that is 45 way. points of damage. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. As you just leap Not up it. and just stab My it God. at its literal sensitive point. Um, sparks begin flying out of its chest. You leap off and you can do your, your offhand attack now. I sure will. Wow. That, uh, yeah. that does not hit, but okay. that's still some pretty nice damage oh, you got there. Shit. That was amazing. Let me do some uh, figuring out uh, where to make my fragile body go. 
Um, <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> what do I have? Um, okay, so I have 30 feet. 30 feet and... Are you going to no hide behind the boy? <laughs> the, if we, know, I if we want him to still be able to do cross, then maybe come into like the orange quadrant somewhere. Are we Are we doing... Do we need to do cross or... I mean, we don't, we don't need to, but... Okay. I'm just trying to think of like... I don't uh, know. What's the walking range on the robot? Yeah, do we know that? Uh, you do not know that, but you can make a sailing check to find out. <laughs> the idea of being like, yes, Yar, I've met kinda... many a, a robot like this out on the high seas. <laughs> I, Just I speak to robot. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, a robot. Kind of it's actually more <laughs> an experience of battle. You can kind of tell the distance they can walk in in, in their Just battle let me capabilities. Dream, Brett. All right, uh, <laughs> on Yar, the high seas, uh... they run into lots of robots. <laughs> can I do that? Is that free action or is that like a bonus? That's a free. That's a free action. That's that. That's a. You can, you, well, you can do one check per round of things yeah. that you want to know. Uh, it has a speed of thirty feet. All right. Well, me too. Wow. Wow. So basically, if it decides to chase me down, <laughs> then it 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 can. Um, so I don't really know where to go. Thoughts? Um, uh, I, mean, I mean, if we want to just make sure, cause they're gonna have to put in cross X or burst. So we just have to choose just, that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and since we can do things out of order, like I can still move a little bit, but I did do three computer commands. So I can't move a ton. Currently yeah. I am missed by cross and I can get to where X will miss me. And I don't remember how wide burst is. Did we determine that? I don't think we ever did burst. We did do burst when it first started. The very first one on your guys' mm. side we did burst because you guys were far away from it. It is I a 15 well. foot area. It could okay. be strategic and make it so that if he goes for Alis, it has to go <clears throat> past me and I can opportunity attack him but other than that, I can't really think of anything too strategic. Um, I currently, <laughs> I currently have max health, I think. So I would more worry about yourself. Not that you're not a strong, capable old pirate, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but you no, I hear have you. as much HP as I do. So. All right. Well, if I'm if I'm like here, I'm out of the diagonal. And he gets disadvantage next attack as yes. well. Yes. Really, really banking on that. Yeah. Fingies cross. <laughs> Does that end your round? <gasps> I believe so. I totally should have dashed as a bonus action, but here we are. Well, I mean... <laughs> it's not over. Um, it's not over until you say it's over. Well, I, I, I used my uh, second attack for my bonus action, so... Uh, ah, okay. No cunning action for me. Oh, well. Um, fine, he's a disadvantage, we'll be fine. Wait, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think that's right. Huh? I don't think that's right. Hold on. D&D &D hates dual wielders, dude. I'm telling you. I thought as part of your attack action, you can attack with your offhand. That's not a bonus action. I mean, not according to the, the rules. Oh, uh, we take an attack action attack with light with your holding. You can use a bonus action. Ah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. My apologies. My it's friend. a bummer, but, uh, you know, it is mm -hmm. what it is. Can you ever get out of his radius, like you know, that attack of opportunity thing? Like, how do you like get away from him? You disengage, but it takes an action unless you have an ability that lets you do it easier. Yeah, so, oh. you, so instead of attacking, you spend the full round getting away from him and he can't do the attack of op. Oh, I see. Yeah. Can I use sorcery points to make the, the disengage a bonus action to do after attacking? Uh, You cannot. Oh, okay. But that was a good question. <laughs> Layton. All right. Well, first, yeah. first and just because it's not a spell. Oh, well, that's the only reason why. Yeah, oh, your, your spell points manipulate spells. Mm. Yes, Layton. What? What is? Uh, what do you guys need for us to do with the robot? Um. So. Shove okay. is an action. 
Uh, Dodger, shook. remember Cannon Frown Face. <laughs> oh, I know, I know that. I'm I'm trying to just double check like that the burst won't hit me currently, um, which it won't. Correct. None of it. Actually, none of them will hit us right now. Great. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> just ignore that. He's Pinocchio. It's fine. Um, okay. So uh, quadrant green. Uh, disable cannon. And uh, do we want to do burst? Sure. I don't think it matters too much. Okay. But... And burst. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eh, eh, eh. What if uh, what if the cross hits the computer? Would that be? Uh, Ooh, we've we already that? yeah because uh the last the last one that happened um before we did the swap was cross. That didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what if I use two sorcery points to make a spell a bonus action, and then oh. I use the main turn to disengage? That is eh? allowed. That's a thing that you can do. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Laura Big the Brain. brain. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That is a thing that you can do. Absolutely. Yay, so learning. Proud. So proud of you. Wow. I'm just, I got a tear in my eye. I'm just so impressed. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So green, disable, burst. Please. Green. Disable. First. The final arm descends from the heavens. <laughs> it pokes into the chest cannon, disabling it. The regeneration has now been shut off on this yes. construct. It has now activated mm -hmm. the burst command. Uh, I would like to remind the team that um, this is yet another one where we don't want one of them to die much earlier than the other one because, oh. again, because of the like, there has to be a robot in each one and two humanoids in each one. So if mm -hmm. one of the robots dies really early, um, we don't know what will happen to the two people that are left in that room with no robot. Oh. Uh, so we need to just communicate about like what the HP is at for our robots so that we can try to plan out and have them die around the same time. Do we well, need to have it, them die like it consecutively? Sucks because, it sucks because we might need to, at the rate that we're going, we we can only, like the attacks don't alternate like they used to. Mm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you can also do checks to theorize what may happen. Mm. Mm. Well, can are we allowed to know the HP of theirs? Can, if they know it, like, can they will like, can they tell us? Yeah, we can we can communicate through the computer. Yeah, that's right. Um, by the way, at the beginning of the round, uh, you see this Gemini in this room is not the Gemini register reinitiating registration and repair protocol. Ooh, okay. and, I get it. and now they've begun identifying again. Okay. Identifying meaning what? I identifying and registering them. Gemini serial number is all you know from that. This is you the same. This is, well, this is the same thing that happened. Just so you know, this is the order that you saw. You saw. Um, ah, shoot! I turned, why did I do that? One second. You saw identifying, diagnosing initiating and then afterwards the repair protocol so you know there's four rounds uh, three well okay, three rounds so we actually. have some time then yes yeah so okay. we got like three rounds and then we gotta swap them if they're not dead by then gotcha right. okay all right uh i guess it's my turn uh we opted to use uh cross correct yes um yeah yes the plus sign Okay. I'm gonna punch the shit out of this robot. <laughs> yeah! Uh, um, 
Let's see here. That hits. Whoa, 23. What? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I click rolled. Mm -hmm. And then on D&D &D Beyond, it rolled a die mm -hmm. and gave a number, but it didn't transfer over. Yeah, it did. I see the 23. Right. <laughs> but on my screen, I rolled again and I got a 26, but now I have to re-roll again because it didn't go through. Yeah, make sure you press the red die and also don't do it too fast so that it transfers over. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. Yep, there's a 26. It just saw pop Amazing. out. Wow. <laughs> and another 23. What, what on <laughs> earth? <laughs> That's the good shit, these rolls. <laughs> and then check this shit out. Flurry of blows time what? using a key With point. With a crit! Oh! With oh! a crit! crit! Oh my god. Uh, now... cl click each unarmed strike and click the flurry of blows and let's see the damage. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. that crit. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Feels good. Mm -hmm. And then check this out. Uh, <laughs> because because um, I used Fury of Blows and I've leveled up, I have a skill I've never used before called Drunken Technique that just lets me disengage whenever I successfully hit Flurry of Blows. And I get an extra 10 feet to walk away. That's our So shot. guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Boom, Can't baby. Y'all are just untouchable now. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> Excellent. Does that end your round? Damn. Um. Feels good to be a gangster. Yeah, I know. Dude, that, that is the first in all, in all of the oh. times we've played this campaign. This is the first time where I just literally Body. Did something. I, yeah, like, <laughs> hold that crap. Up. <laughs> you are on a mission. Um, I would like to investigate, if possible, what would happen and how long it would, or how long it would, what would happen and how long it would take for that to happen if one of the robots go down. Um, okay. For that, I will need you to make an intelligence check on the computer to run a theoretical diagnostic, not diagnostics. Oh boy, mm -hmm. intelligence, oh. my least favorite stat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, I am dumb, 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 and dumb. You used all your good rolls. There it is. There yeah. it is. Uh, yeah, you 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 struggle with the computer currently. I don't understand computer. Um, but all of you were able to do that on your rounds. Just so you know. Great. So what's um, the HP looking like? Yeah, if if Alis hears Leighton like yelling into the computer, he'll be like, um, oh, this is hurting pretty bad. How's yours doing? Pretty uh, bad as well. <laughs> On a scale of 125. <laughs> <laughs> a roughly 38. Oh, we're right there. Great, yeah. if I were to guesstimate, I would say about 40 <laughs> for us. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful beautiful <laughs> luna it is now your turn okay okay Here's remember luna if, if you disengage if you oh. move you're gonna get bopped so be careful oh if i oh no not if you disengage not if you disengage if you use your action to disengage and then use and then use sorcery points to cast a spell you're good oh gotcha okay, okay. so um, l let me know if this works. I'm thinking of using uh, sorcery points to uh, do what Dodger just said. Basically, I want to cast um, Shatter as a uh, bonus action so that I can disengage without getting hit. Correct. And the reason I want to do Shatter is because it says that he has s inorganic materials like metal <clears throat> has disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay. Um. So I think I'm going to do Biggest that. Biggest play. Go for it. Okay, so am I safe then for I can still disengage? Yep. Okay, you so I'll do that. points to, to cast a, a quicken spell with the bonus action. Absolutely. Okay, and let's see about this shatter business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh! 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> At a disadvantage God. now. Here we go. That's a fail. From the yeah. disadvantage roll. Yay. Guys, these rolls are so Oh chef. my God. Yes. Oh <laughs> my God. And you just see, like the back just completely blow out with chunks of scrap. And it looks like it's about to fall apart. Uh, you can spend your action now to move back and it will not be able to uh, attack a up. Yay. Oh. Okay, where, where should I move um, for what Where'd we want to set us up for? Should I move um, right next to Layton, or should I try to go? Really, I mean, you're you're not doing so hot, so try and get as far away from him as possible. 15. We did cross, right? Yeah, we did cross, so just we don't be cross. directly like across or beneath him. And I can walk diagonally. Correct. Yeah, you okay. can. So that's about as far as I can go, I think. Okay, great. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm safe from cross in here, right? Wait, hold on, before. She gives up her turn. She should check to see what happens if the robot explodes. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, and, make, oh. make an intelligence check. Okay. Um, also, am I safe from the move where I'm standing right now? Is this where I want to be? Yeah, you're very safe. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm making an... Uh, uh, an intelligence check with the stat itself. That should be on the uh, top of the sheet. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh. I've been hanging out with the pirates too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god! I put a little something in your tea. Uh, <laughs> uh, 15, 15 foot burst uh, with this one, as it then walks over to Alice. Great! Attacking at disadvantage. Here we go. Ten. Oh, miss <laughs> bitch! And then. <laughs> You see a cross of electricity. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, it will go over to Layton. With one fist. Does a 15 break your armor class? It does not. All right. Oh, Top, yeah. Yeah. Top of the round, Alice. Let's investigate these robots. <laughs> yeah. If you'd um, like to make an intelligence check now, you can. I'm going to, hmm. let's see, where's my boy? Here we go, intelligence. Okay. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very smart normally. No thing, only <laughs> <chill>. Sure <laughs> you are. I'm a, I'm a smart boy. He was sure what if he did to us? He didn't use that Surrounded by himbos for a month. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I don't know what a himbo is, but I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I don't really like it. I fought a himbo once. <laughs> uh, shoot. I'm. I feel like I should play it safe because if I. Oh God! It's fucking unstable magic. You're just um, a boy. I'm just a I'm just a wee lad who might kill my ally if I fuck up here. So I'm gonna uh, let's see. I'm gonna just do another cantrip. Oh wait, he's right next to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold on. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's scary, right? When suddenly I mean, he's there. Frog, whatever. God, yeah, I, don't, but, I, don't, um, I don't like the attitude of one inch taller Alis. This is. <laughs> His little leggies hurt. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I, I'll shock and grasp him since he's right next to me. Okay. I believe you also get an advantage on that because he is made of metal. Uh. Eighteen. Give me a shift click, please. A shift click on the shock. Bam. On the, I'm, I'm sorry, on oh. the shocking grasp in the in D and D Beyond. Sorry, because <laughs> you're rolling an advantage because he is metal. Shift click. There it is, 26. All right, it just, Ow. just, just see, just a second. Amazing. And then you can click that shocking grasp at the bottom, and we'll see how much damage do you four. We. All right. Now what you gonna so much, do? So much damage. Um, I'm going to move here, I think, so mm -hmm. that we can have them do 
the plus sign <laughs> if I need to. Um, and uh, actually, I'm going to spend... No. Yes? No. Yes? I can spend sorcery points and do... No. I can't use it for two cantrips, correct? Uh, you can. The I only... can't. I just can't do two Number level spells. one or two level two. Correct. Or... Okay. So yes, you can. Great. If you want to cast a secondary cantrip with sorcery points, you are free I'm to I'm going so. to cast Frostbite and give him disadvantage again. Yay. Mm, okay. Just so you, you know, it is a range spell. You're in melee, so you're going to have to cast at a disadvantage. Uh, but it's automatic. It's just a con save. Oh. Uh, well, uh, fine, whatever. Uh, your ankles are weird. Go ahead and cast Frostbite. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> 16. Ah! All right. So he's not at disadvantage now when he attacks? Correct, correct. All right, that's okay. Mr. Arm, oh, do you want to oh, do yeah. your command as well this round, Alice? Oh, yes, good call. Uh, what do you all need? Where's your robot at? Well, there's nothing to, nothing to disarm, because it's completely bare. Right, yeah, they're, um, both, they're both naked. I would say, currently as we are, uh, X would probably be the best option. Okay. Um... So shock, and then X, and what quadrant is it in? Is it gonna shock them? Uh, you, it should you... shock. Oh yeah, them. go on, Frank. go on. Doesn't it shock them? I mean, do I need to do a check to know that? You I mean, is it gonna you, shock you, our you, friends? You've never used it before. <laughs> oh my god! It might... Wait, well, wait, I shock well, hold an on, entire hold quadrant. On. If yeah. you're gonna shock a whole quadrant, just choose purple because we're not in the purple quadrant. Okay. I'm, yeah, I, let's try it out. Luna, Luna and I are in the, the like the the darker blue, faded blue quadrant. So you can just okay, just stay out of purple then. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this will do something good. Okay. We just so don't purple... know if it's gonna. We just don't know if if he's gonna have AOE residuals because if he does, I'm gonna get bopped. But. Okay. Do we, is there a reason we're not doing the other one again? Is it because. Uh, which, which other one? Um, the one we knew we were going to be safe in? Like, were we going to do cross before? Or are we standing in the cross or the X or something like that? Well, there's a command to shock the robot. That's oh. Different from else. Oh, interesting. Okay. Or go for to it. maybe I've... just shock a quadrant. I've got oh, full health, so go for it. I'm fine. So, so purple, shock, and... Cross or X? I'm going to say X because as of right now, Luna's not in the way of it and I'm not in the way of it. Okay, great. Purple, yeah? Yeah. Purple. Shock. X. Uh, <laughs> the Gigas takes... 30 points of shocking oh. damage Whoa. and immediately shuts down. Oh. Because it takes the full sad. damage. Let's get some of that over here. Uh, oh at my that... god, why didn't we do that at the beginning? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! At we that have to point, kill at the point you hear error, a one automatron missing from Geekit's protocol, from Gemini oh, protocol. Fuck. Please administer treatment, and then the doors will open up. <gasps> treatment uh, what the fuck <laughs> treatment uh just so well, you know these doors are open you can walk through them oh what oh come Whoa. on let us out what do we need uh no these yeah these doors these side doors are open huh here i'll go ahead and and and, and do this for you so you don't get confused all right Alis, is that the end of your turn? Uh, e it'll, it'll also say shutting down balance protocol to administer repair of Gigas. 
Yo, we gotta kill those dudes before. We gotta kill that guy like now. Yeah. I think we can. <clears throat> well, I mean, if they green shock it. Yeah, we we'll yeah, definitely green. will. But uh, on their turn, uh, if you attack it and then we green shock it, it might die. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna attack it and get the hell out. Armstrong. All right. <clears throat> well, let me see. Let me just. So those are both 10, 10 foot. Okay. I will go. I will go like this. That's 10 feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll attack with the plus two rapier. Okay. Boom. That's a miss. Oh, oh my oh. god. Not now. <gasps> <laughs> just, just get six damage. Do I have to? Well, actually, we don't know. But still. <laughs> I have to hit to get away. Let me see. Nope. Okay. As long as I make an attack. Um. So I either bonus action to dash and get far away, or I hit it with my offhand and try to get that extra damage in. So basically, you guys just need six damage, and then we shock, and then it mm -hmm. then it goes down. Okay. I think I should risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Did your Gigas get his Wait, turn before? I have an idea. I have a crazy idea. Yes. Okay. We can teleport to each other, right? By changing quadrants. Hunter, do as much damage as you can and then go to a different colored quadrant. And then I will use the teleport to switch targets with you and I, and then I'll come in and kill this guy. Well, but why don't we just shock it? Yeah, yeah. maybe we I'm should gonna, shock. I'm... Just, so use, sho no, just use the <laughs> If no, it misses, then it'll... It <laughs> Here, right, but just... 26, eat it. All right, that hits. <laughs> For 13 points of damage. <laughs> Actually, no. Snake attack does not apply. Yeah, it does. So, right. wait, does, you have the stack of the five foot and also if they're away? There's an ally within five feet of the target. Right. <laughs> but I thought your sneak attack specifically is if there's no allies. I get all, I get, I just get extra ways. So, you just sneak attack whenever you want. Basically, yeah. There's, okay. there's very right. rare right. opportunities where fun. it doesn't work. All yeah. right, all right, all right. Sounds good. <laughs> all right, and then I got to go. I can go in 20 feet, I guess. Uh, uh, if I go there, I'd be out of all of the types of things he does. Does that end your round? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Layton. All right, first things shock first. Green. We're going can we to, shock? We're shock. Shock, <laughs> shock the shock. green quadrant. Green, shock, cross. <laughs> Kill this man. Kill this robot man dead. <laughs> and plus or cross? For 25 uh, cross. points of damage. Wait, 25? It Ooh, shuts thanks. down. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why less? <laughs> and you guys oh. have defeated both of the uh, the Gemini Gigases. Congratulations. Oh, what's, what's in this? Is this treasure? Is this a box? Is there treasure in this box? What is this? Is this a box of treasure? Sniff, 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 can sniff, sniff, sniff. Can we move now? <laughs> yeah, oh, you're... yeah, we can move. We're free. Don't you even want a moment to breathe before you start... Touching it's like, it, like, slowly begins to steam <laughs> open, and you're just like... <laughs> I don't want to be in this room any longer than I have to, so I'm going to grab Open the, the treasure box. And run. Open the box. Open the box. Uh, I will also. I will also open the box. Uh, box? Layton. Layton literally suplexes the dead body of the guy <laughs> gets against the wall just to move it away from the chest. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, make a strength also check. Kicks it out of like vengeance. <laughs> just to get out of here. <laughs> Um, I, before we do the loot rolls, I'm going to use the bathroom because I really have to use the bathroom. So, uh, oh, we'll, we'll be right back. Uh, two minutes. Two minutes sounds good. 
Oh, Wait, okay. All right, be right back. Uh, chat, go go use the bathroom. Be right back. I'm back. Did you wash your hands, everybody? I hope so. I'm unmuting. Hello, 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 hello. Where is Haunter and Laura? I said two minutes. They're probably peepissing. That's fine. I will allow a third minute. That's messed up. That's that's fine. All good. All good. Yeah, I, I also forgot about the shot because you guys weren't using the shock at all uh, last the last round. I'm oh. so glad we did. <laughs> you said shock, and I was like, oh yeah, shock. Yes, hello. 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 Let me go ahead and get your loot. I'll wait for Laura to come back before I read it off, though. <laughs> loot, please. Dice decided <laughs> that we we were done. With these guys, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> guys were like, kill them, <laughs> kill them now. Mm. What the? I also rolled a twenty-two uh, to German suplex the guy gets against the wall. <laughs> was it a strength check? It was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll allow it. You toss what is apparently half a ton of metal and slam it against that wall. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Um, one second. I'm reading. Okay, back. Hello. Oh, Hunter, are, are we back back? Um, yeah, I think. Are we like back on screen back? Yeah. What do you mean back on screen back? Yeah, we're back on. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, we're uh, just now. <laughs> we're now back on uh, screen back. Gotcha. Yeah, because I was I saw the misdemeanor logo and I was like, what? What do you mean? I'm slightly You're out of breath because the... I was hopping around to like warm up. <laughs> I'm like jumping, jumping, running around. No, it's fine. Um, Those of you guys missed it, I rolled a 22 and I, su I German suplex the guy gets against the wall. <laughs> it's pretty cool. One second. Look, if I can do one wrestling move uh, a battle, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't think that's too much to ask. All right. You have gained the following powerful items. Mm -hmm. On uh, in this one, 
you contain ink and instructions <laughs> to place upon you. So essentially, it's a it's a it's a quill. It's a it's a it's a feathery quill um, that you could dip into this magical ink. Okay, it's like it's a vial of ink. You know, I don't, I don't even know why I'm explaining it. You gotta, you gotta go ahead and do the research. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a quill with ink, <laughs> and the ink looks suspicious, and the quill also looks suspicious, and the quill is made of metal. Ooh. Yeah, it's like like a metal feather. Hey, <laughs> Huh? Um, in this chest, you see a very large, not large. I would say the size of the palm of your hand. It is a quartz. That's all quartz. I will mention about that. Like mm -hmm. the crystal or? Mm -hmm. Like the crystal. Hmm. Luna, do you have the ability to see what this quartz thing is? What I could do. Um, yeah, I have had some Can experience. Can you bring it out of those rooms, please? We don't <laughs> know if it's going to shut again. <laughs> On your way. Okay, let's. <laughs> oh, right. I got the quartz. Yeah, you're, you're always writing stuff down. So why don't you take this? What? Oh Jesus, boy! What? You're taller. <laughs> he noticed. <laughs> How, he'll, he'll like look down at himself, and, 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 and yes, well, sometimes great. magic does weird things. What do you want me to write down? What's going on? No, no, no! You don't get to just say magic does weird things. I don't know what to tell you. I went to cast a missile, and now I'm taller. What do you want me to say? <laughs> The boy grows up so fast. <laughs> I, I, they sure do. So, what did you find? Uh, we got this, uh, gem thing. Can I do a check on it? Yes, you can. What kind of check, Arcana? Yes, you can. Eep. Eep, boop, eep, a 12. Pop. Uh, yeah, I'll say with, with a twelve. What are you identifying? Which one? The quartz. The quartz. It quartz. is a spell gem. Ooh. Uh -oh. <laughs> a quartz spell gem can contain one spell from any class's spell list. You become aware of the spell when you learn the gem's properties. This gem will be uh, empty, by the way, for you. While holding the gem, you can cast the spell from it as an action if you know the spell or if the spell is on your class spell list. Doing so doesn't require any components and doesn't require attunement. The spell then disappears from the gem. A, a court spell gem can cast can store up to second level spells. Spell cast from the spell gem have a DC of 13 and an attack bonus of plus five. Hmm. You can imbue the gem with a spell if you're attuned to it and it's empty. To do so, you cast the spell while holding the gem. The spell is stored in the gem instead of having any effect. Casting the spell must require either one action or one minute or long, uh, 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 either one action or one minute or longer, and the spell's level must be no higher than the gem's maximum. If the spell belongs to the school of abjuration and requires material components that are consumed, you must provide them, um, but they can be worth half as much as normal. So another, AKA cast spell in gem, Save it for later. So cool. it's almost but, like an extra spell block for <clears throat> yes. caster. So uh, to be clear, I could like, if I attuned with this thing, yes. I could imbue it with a spell and yes. give it to literally anybody else in the group and they can use it to cast up to a second level spell without being attuned to it. Uh, I think it said it had to, it, we it had says to it does not do like a magic missile. It says it does not require attunement to use it. You need uh, to correct. attune if, to yeah. imbue it. If you know the spell or if the spell is on your class's spell list. Right, so I couldn't. Oh, I see. Oh. But um, I will say for this sake of spell gem that you can cast a spell in hand to anyone else and they can cast from it. Yes. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Cause that sounds, that sounds like fun. That sounds neat. That's so <laughs> so you could literally cast like Scorching Ray into the spell gem one day and it ever expires and you can hand the gem off to someone they don't necessarily need to attune Brett to it. will let us cheat. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> do not write that down. Do Make a note. 
I've Brett got a reputation will to keep. <laughs> always let us change. <laughs> we are Brett's favorite. Don't say that, dude. Brett loves pirates. Okay. I do love pirates. Um, I do cool. love pirates. <laughs> and then right, you have um, the uh, metal quill with the magical link. Sure, yeah. Should I do a, a new check for that? Sure. 22! So, oh, yeah. so the, get, get this. <laughs> Placing yes. the quill into the ink will allow it to drain all the ink from this kind of like tiny bottle. And then you can place it anywhere on your exposed body. And what? it will create a permanent tattoo on you. Whoa. What? Called the <laughs> life well tattoo. If you have Go this on. tattoo once a day, if you are reduced to zero hit points, you drop to one instead. Whoa. Sturdy. But you also get a tattoo in the process. Is this like a full body tattoo? Like, do you suddenly look like really cool? <laughs> uh, hmm. It's like a little heart that says mom in it. <laughs> yeah, like, is this, is this like prison break or is this, yeah, just mom? <laughs> like, what you, those are the two levels. Uh, let me see if there's actually a drawing of this tattoo. I'd like to see what it looks like as well. Um, while Brett is looking that up, uh, in case nobody's seen Prison Break, um, he <laughs> tattoos the entire map of a prison onto Ooh. his body. Uh, and it was a full body tattoo. So I was just curious. <laughs> so I will the say. we've learned from Dodgers since TNT. <laughs> <laughs> we learned about carpet cleaning, <laughs> full body prison map tattoo. <laughs> this tattoo will take up an entire arm. Okay. Or oh, actually, it takes up a limb of your choice. So if you wanted to take up a leg, that's kind of lame. Uh, but I would say I would say uh, it could take up a limb of your choice. You pick a limb, and then you will see this uh, this magical tattoo kind of flow over it. If, okay. Uh, I mean, does it is it does anyone at the bit to have it? Because I would not be opposed to using it, but not really. I'm pretty survivable. <clears throat> if you want it, dude, take it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Alice will when he when he sees the quill, his eyes will get kind of wide, and he'll go. Oh, I've definitely read about this. Well, it gives you a tattoo, but it keeps you alive. It, well, essentially the moment that you should die, it, it brings you back just a bit, just so that you can go on a bit longer. Sounds like something we might need to deal with with the headmaster. Hey, Leighton, you are rather fragile. Maybe you should take it. <gasps> Hi. Hey, what? <laughs> Alice <laughs> will like side eye between the two of them and be like, maybe I should just hold on to it until we're not in a high stress situation. What did you just say to me? Who, me? Did you just call me fat? No, I called you fragile. Oh, fragile. It's oh. fine, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> oh, in that case, I'm fine. Yes, I am very fragile. Give me the tattoo. <laughs> He'll pause for a second and then hand it to you. Well, he'll say, do you want it now? Why not? All right. Well, I can help you apply it, but you have to choose where you want it. It'll take up an entire limb. Mm. He wants it to say scrum. <laughs> scrum <laughs> inside the <heart. laughs> Scrum and Alice. Oh my God. Like when people get their last name and like calligraphy all yeah. along their back. But it's just scrum. <laughs> just, just so you know, as you when you apply the the ink will magically. You don't get to like draw like. Oh, stuff I on figured. The yeah, 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 yeah. I figured that. Okay, cool. I want to do my left arm. Okay, he'll arm. like. Arm. Arm. <laughs> he'll um. <laughs> yeah, he'll uh, 
he'll use the quill to soak up all of the ink and then and then tap his left arm with it. Uh, as you do so, the tattoo of what appears to be like a um, vines and leaves begin to illustrate up the arm as if your arm was a branch. The leaves Whoa. and vines also have little skulls sprouting out of it as if they were roses. And then it goes up to your arm. And that's the, like the design that you see with that. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you. It's skull roses. I think I've read about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I really like this tattoo. <laughs> I, uh, not, uh, what do the kids say? Uh, pretty sick. Aye. <laughs> sick indeed. <laughs> this do um, this I... door descends down. What do you think, Scrum? No, oh, that's a good boy. It's a good boy, Scrum. Are we continuing on? Should we go back? Well, I'm not one to run away from a fight or treasure, but uh, perhaps we've pushed our luck to its limit. I think a rest would be nice. You'll ah, see. the admin will probably heal us. Um, don't also... you think we, especially you, don't you think we have more important things going on on the surface? Hey, are you talking to me? <laughs> no, I'm talking to him because he was like, <laughs> ah, it'll heal yeah, us. Yeah, Let's yeah, keep yeah. going. <laughs> uh, you're Remember? free. To, you are free to peek ahead if you'd like. Can we heal ourselves first? We would have to long rest for we eight have, hours. No, we, we, no, we have the to. The computer. Every com every floor has a computer that we can program. I mean, we haven't found the computer yet, is the point. Oh, oh we can't use the terminals? Well, there's some pictures of computers over here. You do see a computer <laughs> off in the distance over there. Or what be this? Wait, hold on. Should we investigate the area? We don't want to set up any traps or anything, right? <clears throat> that is true. Brad didn't tell me to stop. <laughs> I told you to stop, though. That, that is also true. If he continues marching ahead, and he's like, oh, yeah, maybe I should look around. <laughs> I, 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 I'm dumb. I got nothing. Uh, it appears to be a metal grate, yes, into what appears okay. to be like a long strip of metal. Um, there apparently is a translucent green light over here as well. Well, I investigated everything, and I'm too dumb to know what's going on. No, do an don't investigation check. Don't say that. I also am too dumb to know I'll what's going on. I'll do an investigation check. <laughs> I'm also too dumb to know what's going on. Well, what happened to What's him? this dude? <laughs> um, oh. You just see a... You only see one thing on the uh, the computer screen. Um, it says uh, Xenocrates monorail currently offline. A please, monorail. oh, it's a train oh, monorail. Shit. Please, monorail. please monorail. activate. Uh, sorry, please activate <laughs> at the Tower of Archimedes console, and then a prompt. Would you like to activate the Archimedes Titan? Uh, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you, you say like activate another crazy monster. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The... I don't see it as monster. I see it as gigantic golem thing that we may control. Um, Alice is going to try to talk to the console. Yes, hello. <laughs> Are you one of the talking ones? <laughs> the console does not respond. Admin! There is no Admin! response. There is no Surely response. Surely the one upstairs can tell us what that is, so that we're not just flying blind. Do we have a way out? Did somebody say flying blind? And then Luna turns into a bat. <laughs> I'm <just> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you turn into a bat? Nah, nah. I was like, yeah, you do so freely, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, that was great. I loved it. 
Waka waka <laughs> flaps. <laughs> Um, it is just, it seems to be an older computer style, and all it is is just a prompt with a wire N. It just says that the uh, Xenocrates monorail is currently disabled. Please activate through the Tower of Archimedes panel. Would you like to activate the Archimedes Titan? We don't mm -hmm. even know what the Tower of Archimedes is. That's not where we are. Nay, but... Well, I don't know. Seems risky. For all we know, oh. activate this thing. It might happen somewhere else. We might not even know it happens. <clears throat> I like how we just go around activating things we don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good the being responsible here. for the summoning of a god. <sighs> Look, we have to come back here anyway. Correct? So... I'll do what I do best. I'll try to figure out where this tower is and and what this might be, and then we can come back, assuming we live. Hmm. Were, were all of our uh, ways out still blocked? Like, if we were trying to backtrack? Uh, no, <clears throat> not no, no longer. Oh. Oh, so we can leave if we want to. Yeah, so we can just walk out. <clears throat> I say we put a pin in this. Agreed. We've, uh, we've been lucky so far, and I'd rather not uh, keep playing with these forces that we don't understand. Alice is going to run <laughs> back really fast and make sure, like, double check, like, the screens don't say anything else, right? Correct. The, all the screens say the uh, Xenocrates monorail is disabled. Please enable via the, the console at the Tower of Archimedes. Would you like to activate the Archimedes Titan? Y slash N. Activate Archimedes Titan. Y slash N. Great. Okay. <coughs> Committing that to memory, but OOC <laughs> writing that in sticky notes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you leaving the ziggurat? Yes. Yes. Then I shall take you. <laughs> oh, we're getting at... teleported. Then I shall take you to the entrance. Yay! <laughs> nice. Fast <Woo> travel. <laughs> I'm really... a little. Is, is Armstrong okay? Because he's at like 5 HP. Is he like bleeding <laughs> out his ribs or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. Just a little scratch. I'll be fine. <laughs> like nothing attacks us. I'm trying to remember. This oh, back outside, and because it's still, <laughs> if you don't remember from literally three sessions, it's still storming. Ugh. Sure oh, is. delightful. We got All right, an admin. An egg. <laughs> All right, admin. We'll be back. Don't let anyone come in here except for us. Oh, you're back. Are you alright? Hey, we're Something back. Everything happened. Everything's been fine. I'm uh, the moment you said so otherwise. I just went ahead and <laughs> got the cut out. I got out as fast as I could. Um, well, just so that you're not caught off guard, um, Leighton has a new tattoo, and Luna can turn into a bat. <laughs> All right, so the boy's an inch taller. <laughs> no, the boy it's grew. To point that out, it's not nearly as weird. As I am on with the so rest proud of, you. of the boy, I, but it is hilarious. I, what? I need new clothes. Boy, you grew. He okay. grew. Oh, that's a, that's amazing. Good for you. I, <laughs> bad every, there's ever uh, always a special moment in a young lad's life when he has that growth spurt. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> it so, was this embarrassing puberty stuff <laughs> being like the topic of these old men's conversations. <laughs> <literally like anything. laughs> Immediate flashbacks to being on the ship and Leighton chasing me around trying to give me a birds and the bees talk. Simpler times. Uh, <laughs> look, well, if you I ever need to, to talk about the, the birds and the bees, you let, 
You let me know, okay? I, <laughs> I really don't need one. Oh, good. I can read. Ah, thank Lauren. Gaia, Lauren. Thank God. No, yeah, don't worry about it, Lawrence. I've already been talking with the boy already. Oh, good. We've had an entry level session. Oh, yes. Your <laughs> conversations about wenches and what makes them all delightful has really been helpful to me. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, uh,. Had no interest in having this discussion with you. I, uh, but I understand if you need to, but hey, it looks like someone else is already helping you, but. You I know. want to be clear. I did not talk of the wenches. That was all Armstrong, all right? <laughs> what? Hey, Zoss, what do you mean, oh, wenches, Armstrong? What, what, what about wenches? I, you, I didn't say nothing about you wenches. You don't tell a young boy about wenches. What's wrong with you? <laughs> He's a growing lad. I don't know what any of you are talking about. Let's go find <laughs> this egg or whatever. Aelith feels pretty satisfied that he somehow still had the conversation be about him, but deflected it into arguing amongst yes. all of the older gentlemen <laughs> in the group. <laughs> well, you already have the egg, uh, as you do recall. Yes. Yeah. Are I'm, hoisting it. I'm hoisting it. Oh, it's in the. It's. Oh, I thought it was on my shoulder. I thought I. I thought I. Did we put it in the bag of holding? With you, put, you, you put it in the I'm bag of holding. You put it in the bag of holding. We did. We did. All right. Uh, I so, how to get back to <laughs> are you yeah. returning back to uh, the hut? Yes, All the right. kobold. Okay, yeah. one moment. I wonder if he would mind if we took a long rest. Yeah, the <laughs> we're gonna sleep here. We brought your egg. Let us take a nap, and then we'll, <laughs> and then we'll yeah. take care of this shit. You do your voodoo, and we're gonna take a nap. <laughs> Uh, no. What gnome? Are you, are you dead? Uh, he appears to be unconscious. Oh my gosh. Wood gnome? Oh. Wood gnome, are you okay? Wood gnome. Wood gnome. Poke him not so gently with my foot. No. I have a dog. <laughs> no response. <laughs> oh, no. I will no, check for a pulse. No pulse. What? Wouldn't just... What? Uh, can, one, one moment, please. Can we do, like, an arcana check? What do you mean, see? one moment, please? <laughs> <laughs> Is he hibernating? Do they hibernate in this world? <laughs> hmm. He appears to be lifeless with no pulse. Is he cold? I would say yes. Brent, can Is... I do some kind of check to see if yeah, he's, like, actually dead or if he's magic he's been, dead? Yeah, I would like frozen yeah, in time yeah. or free. something. Feel free. Ooh, okay. Good eight check. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where he's the heck. He's just too abrupt. He can't just, he's wood yeah. His I can't hit... believe you killed him off, off screen. <laughs> Unreal. His uh, life appears, to, life force appears to be halted through magical means. Um, can we determine whether or not we can undo it somehow? Or rather, wait a minute. Kicks open door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there a kobold in here? Oh, yeah, there, there is. Uh, God, what happened? Give me one second. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. Good. I couldn't. What happened is my line. Yeah, there we go. All right. So as you, uh. Somebody in chat said, what happened to the pet armor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Our pets oh, aren't supposed to be able to die. Oh, 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 good. oh, oh good. my God. You're back. That oh, took quite listen, a while. Listen here. You try outside. getting an egg and it takes you we? a while. Oh. He's like waddles out. <laughs> Opens up a jar with a blue glow places it around his hands and then dashes it over wood gnome who then just jolts up <laughs> wood gnome my apologies Yo, okay? he was talking too much i had to turn him <laughs> off mm. while well, i uh, quite understand your uh, um, your meaning here it was so cold I don't appreciate you ripping the life force out of a member of me crew if you Unless... petrified him, couldn't you have at least left him inside? He was out in the cold. Well, uh, he's going to catch scurvy. My hut is very small. I didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> I, I, I left him under the shade. Cobalt, Cobalt. It's um, raining. Uh, you, uh, 
Do you have any extra? Do you have any extra of that uh, of that goo you just used? Leighton, we're literally all standing here listening to you. Any, any, just extras. I'll pay for it. Whatever it is, I'll pay for it. Uh, no. It is, it is an ancient form of magic. If I tried to teach it to you, you would go mad. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. I, well, I'm already crazy anyways. Have you met my sum scrum? <gasps> <laughs> he, uh, he just, his, his arms just drop and you see his jaw drop underneath his mask where did you find that don't call him that he's a growing boy yes <laughs> it is a child of the deep one no it is my child he imprinted on him it's none of your concern we got really? your aid. oh well if he wishes to go also, on Also, I have a really cool tattoo. Check out my tattoo. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's got skulls. It's All got right. the trees. It's pretty sick. Hell, I, I suppose that is pretty neat. But you, more importantly, you have the egg. Hey, we got your bloody egg. Allow Maybe. me. Allow me to see the egg. Alice is going to stand under the awning because he's sick of being wet. <laughs> Honestly... <clears throat> Show me the egg. He's got it. I can't remember. I Sta have it. Stares at a lifeless Leighton. Does uh, Leighton pull the, the egg out of the bag? Um, Very slowly and carefully, but I don't want to hand it over to him yet. Right. <gasps> it's still intact. Wonderful. And he holds his arms out. Why do you need the eggs again? Well, I need it to conclude the ritual. No, 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 no. It's very vague. Insight. For Insight. our Insight. contract, you need to be honest with us, the pirate captains. Uh, make an insight. Yeah, feel, free. feel free to make an insight. We're dumb today, but we're strong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dumba boy. Uh, he, he, he's, be, he's being dishonest. Like, I, I don't trust you. I went through hell and back to get this egg, and <clears throat> here we are, and I just don't. I got something in the pit of my gut that says I shouldn't give this to you. Allow me to give you what the deal was. You fetch me the egg, and then I grant you safe access into the, the damned city of Krakesk. That was the deal, was it not? The pact was made. I. this was the deal. Aye, but you don't even have a contract. You really... you need to hire someone to make a very legible contract that we can go over and sign the dotted line correctly. Pah! Such semantics. As I'm, uh, I'm not interested in it. The pact was already made. And he kind of grabs the hand of Armstrong. As seafarers, we have some concern about what you may be planning on doing with such an egg. We're not here to judge you. We're just curious. We'd hate for a fresh new sea beast to pop up and consume us as soon as we leave. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a shame if, oh, I don't know, and I hold the egg in my hand and I start to kind of like squish it to, tens to test its density? Oh, it, 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 I it, don't. It, it begins to, it, it almost kind of like begins to like, it's like if you squeeze any more, it, it, it could, it, it begin, it'll begin to like, it'll kind of like crack. crack on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. It's more, it's more, I'm threatening him basically to see it, to test his, his, right. uh, uh, oh yeah, he it's immediately jumped. He immediately holds in his hands. That wasn't oh, part of the deal. Yeah. If you want safe passage, you'll give me the egg now. Otherwise, drown out there for all I care. But do not if cause any egg, harm to the egg. Tell us your plans with it. You really want this egg, don't you? <sighs> if we just destroyed this egg right now, you wouldn't have anyone to get this for you. Why do you want this egg? I, I've. I, I need to t I need to take care of the egg. It is still a life form. You don't care about the egg. <laughs> Quiet, Missy. How dare you assume? Do I not think question her. 
<laughs> and he'll look up at you. Now let me tell you something, you weird little thing. <laughs> I have gone through hell and back with these people. I have lived my life very furiously, and I have been very reserved this entire time. You're bad at contracts, you're bad at negotiating, and you've wasted our time, and we almost got killed for it. Tell us what you're going to do with the egg, or I will end the egg. I told uh, you all you need to know. I will take care of the egg and no, whatever no, hatches no, no, out no, of it. No, no, you don't seem to understand. There's many of us in one of you, and I am not having a good day. So tell us the truth. Why do you want the egg? Roll an intimidation check. Hey! Yeah. He's, he pulls his hands out. All right. Doesn't seem to matter anyways. You still need me if you want to get to Krakas. I am a caretaker of the Deep One. And what you hold in your hand is one of its very few children. You're actually fortunate enough to have one that you decide to make as a pet on your shoulder. Now, I am willing to son, let you leave. A son. <laughs> <laughs> I am willing to son. let you leave with the creature, since you seem to have grown attached to it, and I believe you will take care of it. The egg needs far more care than what you're going to provide, and the more that you squeeze it, the more you are making me very nervous about that. All right, just calm down, calm down. Just assure us one thing. No! <laughs> Your <laughs> time for speech is over. We have made a deal that you seem to be more so in touch with with your pirate code, which I quite frankly do not give a care about. I will grant you safe passage to Krakask. You will give me the egg. That is the deal. How do we know this is the only way we can get there? <laughs> <laughs> you would Who like cares? to try it's your luck egg. on Just your own? Just give him the egg. You would Why like to it? try your luck on your own? Please. By all means, there it is. And he motions over to the whirlpool. Aelis Good luck trying like, to get to the bottom. Like hands in the air, looking at everybody like, it's an egg, just give him the egg. What did Everyone. we go through all of that for? We're just going to keep it from him. Let's get oh. out there and take care of this. Luna's really feeling uncomfortable right now. And she just, she has this urge to just smash, smash the egg. Cause she's like having flashbacks of the conversation from before when they weren't gonna tell. Her and Alice, what what was going on, and she just has this really bad feeling right. about everything. It's eyeing the egg right now. It's not just the egg; it's Armstrong's life here. What hey, do you mean? I knew it. About that. I've already made me peace with it. I wait, just... wait, no. What's going on? What Tell us. The moment you say that, <laughs> he kind of like <laughs> looks down and shakes his head, and says, "Well, it seems you have some conversing to do." And then he looks over at Leighton. If you won't give me the egg now, fine. If you'd like to have a conversation with your crew, fine. But if anything happens to that egg, we're going to have to renegotiate our terms. And he's going to walk back inside at that point. Renegotiate this. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Armstrong, go get a bottle of ale from the ship. Oh, I've got one on me. We're going to make a firework out of his hut. <laughs> Don't know if that's a great idea. Oh. We do need him. All right, no, you need to start answering questions now. What's going on? Why is your hand cut? Why is he talking about some sort of deal? Well, as an added uh, price for this transportation ritual I uh, may have promised him uh, me soul once I die for the record I offered my soul and Armstrong refused to acquiesce um Alice is like kind of dumbfounded and then after a beat like kind of nods and goes all right well uh, surely there's um, a way to undo that or nullify the contract, right? There's, I mean, it was a, 
idiotic thing to do, but surely there's a way to fix it, right? I say we, uh, we cross that bridge when we get to it, eh? Leighton, what were you thinking? It wasn't that simple. I wanted to go. I want to go to River Styx. It's where I've been destined. Look at my crew that's dead. Look at my ship. I wasn't going to come back from the battle with the headmaster. I knew my fate was sealed. That's why I had no problem sacrificing my life. But Captain Armstrong of the Misdemeanor over here threw his head in first. Well, oh, shut up, the both you, of you. You wanted your soul right away. so excited to die and be martyrs for this whole thing. Obviously, the preferable situation is that neither of you die, so let's start thinking that way, shall we? Ag I don't, as agreed. humans, I know that you aren't as in touch with what goes on in the spiritual realm, but there's a difference between dying and giving your soul to somebody else. When you do that, it's unspeakable things happen it, it's you do, you're not at rest you're at the whim of somebody else you don't know their intentions if they're evil then you become evil so all of the heroics all of the you know guilt about your, your fallen comrades and everything who knows what he would use his soul for who knows if the blood of hundreds of other beings would be on your hands because of what he does with your soul this is not something to bargain with lightly well, let, let me be clear he wanted Leighton's soul immediately, and I negotiated. He could have mine once I die, because by his calculation, uh, I may not have a whole lot of time left, but we'll just see about that. Though, so, isn't urgent. They're not worried about it, and I wink. What if he does something... <sighs> He, he wants your soul to be able to control it, right? That's that's what he said? He never gave a reason. Uh, I know I'm a pirate now, too, but <laughs> you got to think about these kinds of things. Think about what he could do with it. What he could... Uh, what if he used your soul to kill all of us? Do you see what I mean? Would you be okay with that? Dark Just, magic is something different entirely. It's it's a, a whole separate thing from what we're used to, and I uh, I don't mean, think it's at all. To be vague about it, I don't plan on any ill fate befallen the rest of you or myself. I just kind of look around at everybody like, just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't want to be overheard saying um, that I want to come back and skewer this guy. <laughs> and fucking murder this guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, Alis will just kind of stand with his arms crossed and just eye roll and go, I don't care anyway. Do what you want. He's got a pout. <laughs> Armstrong feels a little hurt now. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, so it's settled. We've settled nothing. What's, what do we do with the egg? I say we keep our word, give him the egg, don't give him any reason to uh, horse around with, with our lives. Don't want to anger this dark magician. And hopefully... <laughs> We will go where we're supposed to go. Luna kind of walks over to Aeolus and is like, you studied about this kind of stuff, right? I mean, what could he... Uh, I don't know. I've heard tales about, about dark magic twisting souls of people after they leave this world and just they're held captive there, you know, like djinns and... Uh, I don't know. I mean, have you studied about this before? Um, Brett, remind me at the at the academy they don't really l let you delve too deep into dark magic, correct? Uh, like, this sort of stuff. like necromancy, that's correct. Necromancy is illegal uh, at the where you're at, or where the um, academy's at. Yeah, uh, Alice will will kind of 
it looks like he's thinking. He's sort of like staring at the ground for a second, and he'll say, "Honestly, we weren't allowed to read much about this. They have books for everything except this sort of thing." I, it's frustrating because I don't know what can happen, and I don't know. I'm upset that they didn't tell us, but mm -hmm. that's true. I guess I didn't read it through conventional means. Only seeing what happened after everybody passed. I just... I mean, he seems like he has a plan. I just... I don't know how powerful this kobold is and how much control he could have over Leighton's soul once, you know... Ah, I don't know. Well... If the plan is just keep him alive as long as possible, it gives us time to figure something out. That's true. It was That's my thinking. <sighs> I'm not talking to you! <laughs> say over his shoulder, irritated. <laughs> I guess Luna goes back over to Leighton and is, or, sorry, Armstrong and Captain. Are you, do you really feel okay with this? What's I guess done is done. I've, um, I've entered into a, a risky deal or two. This one's not much riskier. <sighs> he says, not completely sure of himself. <laughs> it's your soul, Leighton. Are you confident that, that you can, you know, and then she kind of gives him that look, you know, like, because she also doesn't want to say out loud about anything he's planning. <clears throat> Are you confident about this? It's not my soul anymore, it's Armstrong's. <laughs> it's not my soul anymore. <laughs> confident, uh... Let's just say I'm not too worried about it. <sighs> okay. Okay. I trust you. Luna's, like, nervous, but she's trusted him before in some crazy situations, so she's just like, oh, all right. I guess we'll do what we have to do. This may be the craziest. <laughs> I'll just go in there, we'll be civil. As an act of good faith, just give him the egg. We don't want him to... He'll begin to walk out. So did you discuss everything you needed to? I. We've made our peace. And I'll One be taking thing, the egg now. We want to rest before we go to Krakask. And you want to rest here? We just Damn. don't want to get sent in right away. You know, we just, we just went through incredible lengths to get this egg. I will allow you out of good nature, of a friendship, stay here to get your rest. Mm. Much obliged. Then mm. he looks over at Leighton. Do we have a deal? I just have one question. <laughs> <laughs> Ron here has a little baby brother or sister inside of this egg, correct? <laughs> and you plan to be the caretaker of this egg. That is correct. So are you going to, oh, I don't know, bring back the deep one essentially using this egg? <laughs> Create a new deep one? <laughs> bring back? <laughs> Who said the deep one has ever left? Mm. Alice shivers, but he pretends it's because he's cold. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to think that the deep one is a myth, legend, doesn't exist, in a deep slumber, dead. Surely, in this world of peace, the deep one can't exist. The Deep One 
has always been here. And you can't do a thing to change that. Whether you just decide to give me the egg or destroy it. All you'll simply be doing, from some misguided principles, is ending a life. You know about the Tower of Archimedes. The... I'm afraid I do not know of that location. Oh, I didn't ask if you know of the location. What do you know of the lore? I don't follow. You've never heard of anything Archimedes related? No. How long have you been on this island for? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, 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 did, what did Leighton say? Uh, how long have you been living on in this island? <sighs> it's been quite some time. I mm. seem to have lost track. I see. So you've never wandered into the uh, the the big temple esque building over there. The sealed co- uh, tower over there? No, I haven't. Aye, the sealed one. It's sealed. Very <laughs> sealed. I stares at the lens. <laughs> I must admit, I've only been awakened hmm, probably a week or so now. Before that, I was in a very deep slumber, dreaming. Of what? Why, my deep one, of course. And now I am awakened, and I must care to that egg. I'm going to give you this egg. But I do have a caveat here. And an uh, an, an addition to our contract, per se. Should someday... And Leighton starts to, like... Like, glow a little green from the sword. Should you someday decide to, oh, I don't know, bring doom upon us all... For any of your actions, or, oh, I don't know, if you're related to it, and we have to somehow see you again someday. I want to let you know personally that I will snap your neck like a twig, and I will have Grum here eat all of your remains. Do you understand? Don't double-cross the captain! And he throws him the egg. Oh, he will immediately, like, grab it, like, as it, like, falls back a little bit. As he just walk off into the jungle, he will slowly go back into the hut, place the egg down gently on, uh, some, either a stack of fabric or, or some hay, and then step out. Well, I suppose the deal is done. Where, where did he go? <laughs> where, did she, where did Leighton go? Does Leighton just walk off? <laughs> I'm having a time. moment. Uh, I'm uh, having uh, some alone time. Oh. The, the water just drenches him down. And he's, just... <laughs> yeah, he's just standing, staring right up against a tree soaked with water. <laughs> uh, suit yourself. I'm taking a nap. Well, just a moment. <clears throat> I must prepare the ritual now. And then I shall be off. You're free what to you stay saying? here, wherever you wish. Well, now that I have the egg, I have a lot of carrying I need to do. But first, I will conclude my end of the bargain. So come, gather round. Gather round now. Um, at this point, you will see Lawrence does not approach. He'll give a heavy sigh. Um, little witch doctor, whatever you are, this deal includes our safe return. Is that correct? 
Yes, that is that is correct. Hmm. Is there any we way? Still get to rest, right? Oh, what'd you say? We still get to rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he's saying is, I'm gonna do the ritual now, so that you're ready, and then I'm leaving, and then oh. you can stay here and then in the we hut. Can use his hut. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was hoping. And he kind of looks at everyone. That you can send me back now. Um, he looks around to everybody. And then to Lawrence. Right. R return back home now. Oh. I suppose I could make an exception for you, sure. What does everyone do or say? Wait, he, what does that mean when he's a, like, he, uh, he Lawrence does, wants to go back home he does, now. He, not does, he doesn't with want you. to come with us to to, right. to Crocast. I'm, so the just out of character, I'm wondering, like, is he saying he wants to go back to his hometown? Is he going back to the island we found him at? Uh, he'll probably he's going to return back to um, to 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 your island, okay. essentially. He wants to, uh, yeah, he wants to return back to, he'll return to Crash Heart. Right. Well, um, this mission I, uh, would consider it to be volunteer only. So if you think you must go, then by all well, means. Honestly, we brought this upon you, all of this, so. I just. I don't think you need to feel like you should join us. I just, uh. I, I. He looks down. He'll uh, pull out, pull off a glove from his hand and show a uh, a wedding band around his Aww. ring finger. Uh, hi. And a tear just rolls down his face and he What looks... are you doing here? Get going, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you just stop, do you just stop him from talking? You just push him out? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, I mean, he can if he wants, but yeah. and he just is just I uh I uh I miss me husband. That's all. He's operating the mines alone, and it's been quite some time since I've seen him. We'll take care of this, and we'll come find you, and we'll tell you all about it. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll be sure to return back to. I'll be sure to return back to Crashot. I, I still have to continue work on that airship. I'm sorry we failed you, Lords. You didn't fail me. I just feel like this is as far as I can go for now. I, I wish I was as brave as you, but I just have, I have too much to lose. I'm sorry. You want to take Wood Gnome with you? <laughs> I believe I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I, uh, go tend to your betrothed. At that point, he, uh, the, the, the kobold will begin to cast a ritual. Gather round. Now come, come gather round. Uh, you, you too. And he points over to Layton. All right. Um, he begins to cast a spell. Um, it takes a few minutes time. And as he does so, you see these sort of shadowy tendrils and tentacles begin to surround around you. As if some sort of magical circle. And uh, it just begins to dance around, and as it does so, the tentacles van begins to uh, dispatch and vanish up into the air uh, as it then enters each and every one of you. Uh, as it enters you all, you see Lawrence at that point begin to fade away, and he'll give you all a wave before he... Or he vanishes 
Aelus would wave back if he wasn't fucking horrified that a bunch of shadows just went into his body. Uh, Wood Gnome <laughs> will at this point look around and just say, uh, oh, I, I'd like to go as well, please. And, and But it's too late. The, 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 the transportation's already gone, so Wood Gnome will be sticking around. <laughs> I tried, uh, Wood Gnome, I tried. I don't think I want to be here for this. And yeah. uh, you just, darkness, your body just goes cold for a moment. And that brief moment is a, is something that you will remember for the rest of your days as it actually feels like for a split second that you have died. Ooh. It takes but just a moment. And then life just immediately surges back to you. Your body freezing cold and then returns back to a warmth and he'll nod as it, the the the, the tent everything just kind of settles down he will then point over at the beach to where your ship is and you'll just see it kind of begin to go upright <gasps> and lightly hover there now we gotta find A tear him. streams down Armstrong's face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you also see at the at the at the at the hull of the ship these translucent dark void like tentacles as if it's sailing upon that. Oh my. The deep one will give you safe passage to Krakesk. And then as part of your deal, I shall return the ship to your island of of Kreshat. Once you are done with what you need to do, the destruction of the war master, you too will return. Please don't linger too long as Krakesk is a city of the damned. It is a... It belongs to the dead now. And you are simply veiling yourself to it. But I suppose if you need a little more bolstering, well, I'll stick around in case you wish to make another deal. And uh, at that point, you will see tentacles just erupt around the ground, choking um, the kobold. You see the kobold's neck kind of snap a little bit before oh. it falls into the earth. Whoa. <sighs> what the So many horrifying things just happened in quick succession. <laughs> Going to forget us all of that and uh, <laughs> let's take a nap. Oh, the egg God. is also Amazing. gone. Wait, did he die? It looked like his neck snapped, like it, his body went limp. Oh. He but you have it. a you have a sneaking suspicion that does not mean he's gone. Oh, okay. Do you all take your long rest now? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do so. So with the storming rain and and tempest and waters across the island, it you have an unsettled sleep today but your long rest will conclude at the beginning of the next session. And so ends today's session ah. of the misdemeanor. Oh. Yay. So many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, yeah. we're actually going to go take care of shit next session. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. And we got loot. <laughs> it was all worth it. It indeed was all worth it as you are now a level higher. <gasps> Yay! I love leveling up. Oh my gosh, I get my next storm sorcerer thing, I think. <laughs> I think that's how it works. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm gonna go check right now. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Expertise. Uh, what level does that put you at? Uh, six or seven? I think seven, six. right? Six. Oh, six? Um, check it guys if it's raining you can use an action to cause the rain to stop falling in a sphere around 
<laughs> I'm right. never being wet and cold again, bitch. Never again. <laughs> we have an umbrella. These past four <laughs> sessions, you're just so tired of being damp and wet. You're just like, all right, I'm done. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I just angry sleep on it and wake up with a new ability. <laughs> um. So before you all leave, we got a couple of pieces of fan art. We've got one fan Ooh. art and one meme. <laughs> one meme. <laughs> so if you want to look at the screen now, I shall show you. Wha-bam. So here's our fan art of, of a welcome back misdemeanor of a picture of everybody. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Family. Are you, you okay? <laughs> oh, good. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Including yeah, I love this art style. Yeah, including you know your nice little pet. You got Wood Gnome in the corner. You got Lawrence, who said fa farewell for now. Uh, yeah, via stream, it? via stream. You have to look uh, at the stream. Oh. Well, I have to watch this ad first. Is it a refresh? Yeah. On the high. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So good. Yeah, and let me know when you see it as well. Oh my gosh. Um, that's yeah. really good. I, 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 I like it. I like I like smug Luna drinking tea. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <Six> tea. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, and then one meme, uh, which is uh, Alice all grown up. And there it is. Uh, that's what he looks like now, uh, with his ankles exposed <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Take oh attitude one inch later. <laughs> It's oh, a pretty good Photoshop, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go say goodbye to chat, but thank you so much. You guys, glad to be back. Amazing. It was so nice to come back to Pirates. Thanks for watching, chat. It yeah. was a great session. Bye, guys. Yeah, it was. It was a fun session. And yeah. next session the journey to Krakask and finally yeah. hopefully a not next session but potentially session afterwards season finale I have been saying this for I feel like a month now so who knows smile <laughs> well, I feel like yeah two or three sessions ago you were like well depending on whether or not you guys do any side stuff like yeah. we could wrap this up in a couple of sessions or you know maybe three yep 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 <laughs> Yep, and now yep. here we are. Yep, yep. Absolutely. <laughs> like, it's a zigzag. Hey, look what's, <laughs> hey what's, what's in here? <laughs> hey, okay, God's revived. Okay, let's just keep going down here. I don't want to do that. Oh, whatever. We'll keep going down. Oh, well, oh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, you guys have a good night. Okay. Thank you, Brett. Yeah, man. Bye, 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 bye. 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 bye, -bye. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself today. Thank you so much for being here. Before we wrap up real quick, um, first of all, Arnarp, dude, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Again, if you got gifted sub by Arnarp, be sure to thank him in chat and pay it forward. Uh, Luna, thank you for the prime sub for 40 months. BT Bollinger, the tier one sub for five months. And uh, yeah, there we go. There it is. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, our Patreon is kicking off chat. We are literally five patreon members away from triple digit uh, we're looking to try and get our first hundred patreon members uh by the end of the year we're on our way so thank you so much for supporting and being a part of that the patreon includes mp3s of the campaigns uh art and work in progress as well as game master notes uh depending on what tier you decide to choose so uh make sure you uh yeah if you'd like to head on over there we use a lot of the patreon funding to build art uh all of the bttv emotes the new one that we have over there was from the patreon the stickers that are being developed right now all from the patreon support so thank you guys so much for being a part of that I should be receiving the first batch of stickers this week. If the quality is good, uh, we will be selling pirate stickers this uh, Saturday, next Saturday. So hold on, fingers crossed. Uh, if it's if it's good quality, you know, please be sure to uh, yeah, you might be able to buy some stickers next week. He did a cheeky little flash of them. I did. Very cheeky. So um, look forward to it. Um, also, I would like to go ahead and give 
A. Oh, Laura. Laura, you just type I O Luna, and that's it. That's all you have to. Yeah, you did it! Yay! I'm so proud what? of Laura. I'm so proud of Laura. She she kicked some real booty today and had some real what? big brain strat. Oh my God, they're rolling something, chat. I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, but the music's playing. Uh, also, I want to big, give a shout out to our big Patreon members, Link Thurmage, Julia Shark, and the Hug Hunter guys. Thank you so much for that support. You guys have been phenomenal. Thank you so much for that. Uh, if we stream tomorrow, it will be a non D and D stream. I like to do at least one stream a week where it's not D and D, so I can hang out with chat. Most likely, more than likely, we'll probably just be giving ourselves a play of. Morrowind again so we can hang out with chat have a good time tomorrow just give ourselves a nice little uh fun calm time you know what I mean you know what I mean so but uh we'll see we'll see what we're, we're doing tomorrow I might just even take the day off as well uh if you are here only for D&D &D, hey our next game is Monday the actual Tower of Archimedes there was a name drop today during today's session so nudge nudge the Tower of Art will be heading over there uh, this Monday, where they got themselves already in a little bit of a precarious situation. Um, so make sure you're there. 4 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. PST. If you made it to this time, you could definitely make it to next time. And D&D uh, &D all next week. Make sure you watch all of the sessions because afterwards we're taking a week off for Thanksgiving, baby. Uh, if you'd like to go and catch up on other campaigns, head over to our VOD channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash World of IO. You can catch up on all of the games there if you want to start watching a new campaign as well. Every campaign has something different to offer. For those that do watch all the campaigns, they do say that everything has a different feeling, a different story, a different genre, essentially, of things. You know, uh, Tower of Archimedes is a dark dystopian game. Uh, Misdemeanor is a pirate themed game. The Arcane Academy is a uh, magic school game. Uh, it's of all a variety of things. How many campaigns are there now? Feels like a lot. Uh, there are currently six campaigns. I have one campaign Thursday. The Arcane Academy just went on a hiatus, so we're still doing five campaigns. Goblin campaign is literally just a, a bunch of goblins. So, yeah. Uh, it, so, don't feel that you need to watch all of them, but they're all really good. I, I think they're, we've all got a, 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 it's a different feeling, a whole set of people. Hey, check them out. Check it out to see if there's something that you, uh, that you like. Um, but there's definitely a lot of campaigns see what what tickles your fancy you don't require you're not required to watch all of them to know what's going on uh but you'll see little bits and pieces of the influence of everything all around um so it's it's definitely good for like easter egg hunts and things like that all right guys that's it for now you're free you're free my friends free to go off and do what you wish no raid today go wherever the heck you want okay all right guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I will see you all the next time. All right. Bye-bye.